We get a lot of questions from our Massachusetts customers about handgun sales to residents of Massachusetts. In 1998, the Attorney General enacted some consumer product safety regulations to control um, the handguns that were sold in Massachusetts to provide a safer uh, atmosphere for the consumer. One of the things that they put in was a set of regulations that requires a gun to have certain features and pass certain tests. Now if a gun was in the state prior to 1998 and registered in the state, it's grandfathered in. But new guns have to pass a certain set of tests and go through uh, an approval process not only with the Criminal History Records Bureau Board but also with the Attorney General's Executive Office of Public Safety. For instance, Glock handguns are not compliant with Massachusetts regulations if they were made after October 21st of 1998. Glock handguns in the state prior to that or previously sold are compliant. Now, our Glock why aren't Glock handguns compliant now? Because Glock doesn't want to go through the testing and the expense of having their guns approved. Many manufacturers have done that. For instance, Smith & Wesson, which is made in Springfield, Massachusetts, has virtually put every one of their guns on the compliant list. To become compliant, they have to have certain safety features as deemed by the Attorney General. First a 10 pound minimum trigger pull. Secondly, it must have a loaded chamber indicator and third, it must have some sort of external safety device. So that becomes some of the issues that many of the manufacturers did not want to contend with. We have a couple of guns. We have a um, Smith & Wesson M&P pistol. This is in 40 caliber and yes, it does have the external safety right here. It does have the loaded chamber indicator, but it does not have a 10 pound trigger. This has a five and a half pound trigger. The Massachusetts compliant version has the external safety in the trigger, similar to a Glock. It does have the loaded chamber indicator and it does have a 10 pound trigger pull. Some manufacturers in Massachusetts, for instance, Car Arms, which is made in Worcester, has had a gun on the market for many years called the PM9. It's a polymer frame 9mm, one of the smallest, lightest weight 9mm you can get. But it didn't have an external safety, it didn't have a loaded chamber indicator, and it didn't have a 10 pound trigger pull. Within the last year, Car has totally redesigned the gun to add an external safety, a loaded chamber indicator, which is a pop-up device, and a 10 pound trigger pull. Once that's done, five copies of this gun must go to an independent testing lab for testing. The car must pay for that testing, which can run five to $10,000 depending upon the complexity of the gun. If the gun passes the test, those test results are given to the Criminal History Records Bureau. That, if it's approved, then goes to the Attorney General's Office of Public Safety, which is the Executive Office of Public Safety. And at that point, then they have the option, not the requirement, of making the gun legal for sale in Massachusetts. So those are some of the complexities that we have, but we are fully stocked in many, many versions of Massachusetts compliant handguns. The regulation allows you, as the owner of the gun, to have that trigger pull lightened up. So once you legally have possession of the firearm, you can bring it back to us and our gunsmiths can lower that trigger pull to what the rest of the world sees. That's a $60 charge, very simple to do, generally takes about a week or less, and it makes the gun much more shootable. If you'd like to know more about what we do and what we have in stock, give us a call at 603-878-2854 or even better, come up to the store and visit us. We're at 443 Fitchburg Road, Mason, New Hampshire. We're at the corner of Route 31 and 124, just about 1,500 feet north of the state line. We're about 12 miles north of Fitchburg and real easy access. Thank you and we hope you stop in.